everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's video. I know why you're here. You're here for the same reason I'm here because this right here is great looking. And I just can tell you, like strangely, this is amongst other supermodels. Like if you went to a supermodel convention, everybody there is beautiful, right? But a supermodel outside of the convention is ridiculous looking and that's exactly what this looks like going down the road. What I love so much about it is, is not only is it a beautiful restoration, it's a restoration so that you can drive this car a little more than say a 1960s vintage car might be, right? We're doing this video in 2023. This car is 63 years old, approaching its way to the 70 year old mark, right? That's pretty amazing that these things are still on the road. But the reason people buy them and the reason people like them like yourself is because of the style. You can't, listen, today's modern car is beautiful, no doubt, right? But nothing looks like this when it's going down the road. Nothing sounds like it, nothing feels like it, right? And you say, well, Tone, today's modern car has all these safety, all this amazing stuff on it. I'm saying you're exactly right. That's exactly why you buy this car, because it's not like your daily driver. You get in this car and you go to work on a Friday, right? And you call whoever it is that uh, you're on the way and I'll talk to you when I get there and you shut off the phone, man. Get up, get rid of the Twitter feed, the boss feed, email, uh, dinging, texting, all that stuff. Shut it off. Turn some music on, man. Put the shifter in first gear and go for a ride. It's very nice. All right, so we're going to walk around. We're going to talk a little about the quality of the restoration. We're going to look at a couple different things as well. And uh, I say we get started. All right, when you get a nice fresh restoration like this, it is shiny and it's very nice. This here has, a, has the restorer's tastes done in it, and that can be changed if you don't like it, all right? So what we like most about it is it is white with a red interior, and it is a great color combination. You may or may not like the black trim uh, that's on here. I think it looks great. It makes a car look very different and looks very modernized uh, for a vintage car. However, if you don't like that, we can put this back to its originality and its kind of chrome state. So that's a cool thing that you can do. Um, maybe even adding a small uh, red pinstripe on the side might pull the interior out just a tiny bit more. And those are the kind of cool, subtle touches you want to do. All the hard work's been done. Now all you got to do is add your touch to it or do nothing, get in it and go for a drive. But what I like to do is I like to show off quality of paint. In this here, we can see the ceiling, the lights, we can see everything crystal clear. White doesn't show up great on uh, on video, but what I want you to see is how clear the letters are right in there and see we really have fresh, beautiful, classic white paint. Now that we've seen all that, why don't we spend about a couple minutes, let's get under the hood and see the performance there because there is a lot more horsepower than originally came from the factory. All right, so I want to go ahead and use the uh, safety latch and pull the handle for the hood opening. I love that. These are great. These are just super, super nice looking, spring loaded. This is a full custom piece because we have upgraded intake manifold, upgraded engine, uh, the performance version, what we might also refer to, uh, some people would call uh, what Mons versions and things like that. Here we have, um, here we have a freshly rebuilt, upgraded two liter twin side drafts, right? When I say power, it definitely, definitely feels different than a standard uh, car. Keep in mind, these are only made in between 200 to 800 cars a year. These are all hand-built, hand-assembled, handmade. This is a Rolls-Royce of sports cars right here because you're talking about just uh, uh, some assembly line worker who's worked there for many years learning and doing all of the craftsmanship here. Here we've taken this car all apart, all of it's put back together, it's made to look very correct and authentic, and now we have a great driving, great power, and detailed car that you feel proud of, opening this up, going to a car show, you can open up both sides if you want, uh, but everything is just so easy to work on, like I can see the starter. The carburetors are here. The radiator is easy to get to. I'm touching the battery, right? The wiring here is all new and nice looking. It's just all of this little stuff, just, I don't know. I just get so impressed by the craftsmanship and effort that it takes to get this stuff done. And when it's already done, it's really, really nice. All right, so what makes a British sports car a British sports car? If you're looking at this and you're an enthusiast or a Morgan expert, right, uh, you know way more about this car than I do. But here's what I do know. I do know a restoration. I do know uh, color combinations and how they look, and I do know style because I see it all day long, and I say, man, this is great looking. This kind of stuff, 
I just love about English sports cars, right? This exposed tire, uh, just the simplicity of the lighting and things like that, that awesome Morgan emblem. This also comes with uh, a tonneau cover here as well, which is kind of nice. I want to show you how that works. And this right here, let's say you went for a drive and you decided to go get lunch, and then you can just throw this right over the top. It snaps in place, right? So that uh, the interior stays dry. Let's say you get caught in the rain, right? You can also uh, drive it uh, and leave half of it covering over there, which is a really cool look by the way, and unzip this part and just tuck it back here, snap that in place, and you're like, you know, you're super English at the, you're super English, right? You're super, super English. Anyway, the the underneath of the car, we're not doing it in the video because you, we put the pictures online, you can see those, it's all detailed, right? And again, we're back to like a very modernized car for its time, right? We got, we got good power, we got disc brakes, we got uh, great handling, we have, uh, once we get inside, we're going to see a full array of gauges. It's very exciting. All right, so come join me inside for a second because this is a driver's cockpit, right? This car, like, I just want you to see how I fit. I want to put myself in here so you can see it real quick. Like, like look where my elbow is, and the wheel fits right in my hand. The hood is so long. It's amazing. This car is, a, is, is so much bigger in person. Uh, than maybe in, in photos. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's just super elegant the way the way you can see everything. And again, some things uh, making sure uh, that function properly like they're supposed to, like those are the turn signals working like they are the horn working. The interior of this car, back to it here, is simple. It's easy to get people in and out, right? And then you have a full array of gauges in here. We're talking about a 6,000 RPM tack right in front of my face. A la Porsche, right? They said this is the tack is more important than the speedometer if we're going to race this, right? Uh, then we're talking about things like uh, full gauges here, too, not just uh, some lights. This has oil pressure, this has amps, this has water temperature, and a fuel gauge. You'd be very surprised that many cars back in the day did not have fuel gauges. Uh, there 120 mile an hour speedometer uh that's aggressive man that's aggressive for uh, a high handling sports car and the shifter is just easy to get to you just click 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 in gear and off you go i guess at the end of the day the mirror might be the best thing on here is i don't know why they don't do this with cars anymore this is just it, it just works so much better than way up here i don't know what it is about it but wind wings right i don't know if everybody knows what they're called so most people do some people don't but that's nice because it keeps uh the breeze down a little bit and then these are uh, for uh, clip-in windows if you want so anyway it's uh it's it's a real car with lights turn signals handmade hand built uh just super cool piece of english history all right, so we want to close up the video. Let's talk about something, uh, the most important part about that, and that is the restoration, right? This is a, a complete restoration, right? Uh, it was shared with us that they did uh, paint, body, electrical, engine, transmission, suspension, brakes, like all of those things uh, done here. The good news is they drove it for a little bit. It's in really great shape, and it's significantly less than if you try to do it on your own and it won't take you two years if you could find somebody tomorrow to start working on it. You could be driving this car this weekend, right? And that to me is the only way to get a classic car. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, Morgan uh, as well as uh, well, we've got a nice folder on it, nice details, things like that. Also, too, if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below. That helps us get the message out. Subscribe to the channel. We're putting out new content all the time. And if you don't mind, uh, share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And I'll see you on the next one.